Hey, Ben Pistol here, field agronomist for Bex in Wisconsin. Coming to you guys today from Janesville, Wisconsin, and I'm actually standing in our soybean choice trial down in Janesville. So for those of you that don't know what a choice trial is, it's basically where we evaluate our current and new products going forward. We also have a whole bunch of competitive products in this choice trial as well, just to get good comparisons. But what I really want to talk about here this morning in the middle of October is about potassium. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of phone calls from customers across the state of Wisconsin who have been in their combines the last week and they're saying, hey, you know what? I go to one part of the field and I got almost 80 bushel beans. I go to the other side of the field and I'm down at 50 bushel beans. You know, what's going on? It's the same variety. Um, and I've heard this across many different varieties, in fact. You know, why, why are they so good in one area and so bad in the other? And what I want you to be thinking about now that you have some soybean acres off is what are my potassium levels, okay? Because the first thing that I think about as an agronomist when it comes to soybean yields is potassium. Um, it really drives overall yields. And what I want you to do is now that you have some harvest maps and you can clearly see what parts of the field yielded the best, go and look at your soil test maps and hopefully you have grid points. And if you don't, you can still go out this fall and get some grid points and overlay your grid point soil test data with your yield data. I can just about guarantee you that the highest yielding soybean spots in those fields are where your potassium levels are the highest. So if you've been to some of our field shows the last few years, you've heard myself and maybe even Chad Callahan talk about base saturation potassium. And really what we're talking about is when you look at that soil test, don't just look at the parts per million for potassium. Go down, it's usually at the bottom, especially if you're looking like a Rock River soil test. It's at the bottom, it'll say K. K percentage, which is base saturation potassium, what we're really looking for ideally is for that rate, for that number to be four to about 7%. Now, a lot of soil tests that I see come into my office are somewhere about two, maybe 3%. Some of them are even below 1%. That's how you get bad soybean yields. So take a look, overlay your yield data with your potassium base saturation numbers and get an idea for what's happening. It's a great way to learn and try to fix those problems going forward so we can always get 70 plus bushel beans in years to come.